eat because they don't have discipline. They can't control themselves by what they put in their mouth. People. From what I've heard, neither can you. <laughs> there we go with that. Oh, good morning, everybody. This is Coach 1AM staying up late to give you the score. I just couldn't help myself with that one. I, um, I just had to put that out there. Anyways, um, this is a, I want to give a shout out to Steve. I'm making this video. This is dedicated to him. Everybody else is, of course, welcome to watch it. But, um, I'm trying to get this other stuff pulled. Okay, we got YouTube search. Okay, um, Hold on one second. Let me get this put together. I was, um... Yeah, okay, here we go. I was asked a question earlier this, this afternoon, maybe early evening. And, um... And this video is you know, an answer to this question because writing it in a section would just be too too um, strenuous and too drawn out. But, um, okay. I want to show y'all something else real quick. And, um, okay. Something happened to me today, and I want to, uh, I want to tell y'all about it. This person, I'm not going to show their name because I don't want to, as I say, you know, put them on the spot or humiliate them in any kind of way. But somebody today asked me to buy their, um their Baccarat system. And this was my response. I want to read it to you real quick. It, this is hilarious. I said, buy my Martingale reset system for $200. Throw in another 100 and you get my delayed Martingale system. A $350 value absolutely free. I'll also throw in the Hollandish betting strategy along with my new Facebook group with players from not only all over the world, but from other planets as well. Martians from Venus and Mars will share their systems. Pluto also has blue Martians that are professional American roulette players. Saturn. I said, the actual rings of Saturn are going to do a live stream every day at 3 p.m. to share their 92% winning strategy. I'm trying to get them at 99% like Christopher Mitchell has, but they're just not that good. But yeah, a total of $15,547 value for only $300 total. Can't beat that. Well, all right, there you are. But, uh, but yeah, here's the, here's the question I was asked. Um, you can get stuff free off the internet, so how can Christopher Mitchell have followers? Okay, um, I'm going to explain that in this video the best I can. I apologize for being a little, um, I guess, off-key right now, but uh, I'm going to explain some of this the best of my ability. Okay, um, first off, I'm, I want to explain to everybody that YouTube, to my understanding, they have this search engine. And this search engine, it... You know, when you type certain things in, it generates videos based on what you typed. Like, look what I just typed in here. Solid Baccarat strategies. 
Okay, so these are the videos I'm going to get based on this, and we're going to go down the list a little bit. I want y'all to see something here. I typed this in because I wanted you to see there are so many Baccarat channels. There's just so many. And you see our, our little friend here, he's in a, in a lot of them. There's some Casino Amigos. There's our buddy again. There he is. <laughs> Y'all ever heard of this fella before? I've looked at a little bit of this stuff. <laughs> I like that guy. He's funny. He has a, a personality, a lot of charisma. He's all over the place. I haven't yet spoke to him or sent him any messages. I'm trying to think what exactly to say. But the guy, the guy stands out to say the least. He's, he, he's a character. Okay, more Baccarat videos. Okay, more Baccarat videos. I just passed something. Maybe I'll see another one in a minute. You see all this stuff here. I'm doing this to make a point, everybody. I'm going to get to it in a second. Okay, a bunch of these. I typed in solid Baccarat strategy. and This is a lot of stuff, everybody. So this is the game. Like, um, in the last few videos I've made of, of my program, I've typed in Baccarat specifically. And you see, my videos are, no, are nowhere near in this. Mine are probably... There's one, my, my other good buddy Cheetos. There's one of his. That, he made that one several months ago. That was a real good video if y'all have never seen it. But all this stuff here and it just um, this little series that I'm making right now it's, it's going to be nowhere near any of this. And I'm not saying that to complain. I'm not saying that to be a poor sport. I'm just you know speaking facts. I mean I've only been making videos for you know three or four months if even that I'm I'm new at this stuff there's one of my favorite Baccarat channels of all right there one of them and the one underneath that I watch a lot of his stuff he's pretty awesome but um but yeah like I was saying a lot of stuff here and not saying that to be bitter or anything like that. It's just, you know, I'm a small channel, and and that's just that that's just fact. That that's just fact. Um. And as the saying goes, it is what it is. Okay. So this video, you know, is a uh, dedicational to one of my followers. Shout out to Steve, like I said, and um, and it's also going to be about Christopher Mitchell's followers. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about you know them following him, why, and everything else that I'm I'm gonna try to cover here. Remember what I said about the YouTube search engine. Okay, look what we're, we're searching now. I'm searching our good old pal, Christopher Mitchell. Not really, but I just felt like saying that. Okay, we're, we're searching for him now. Now, I want y'all to look at the order of these videos. There's his channel. Look at this. Eight, I think that's 8,037 subscribers. 215 videos. That's a large channel. Y'all already know this, but most of these subscribers are bought. 
most of the likes are bought most of the views a lot of the views may be bought I don't know but 8,000 and something subscribers that's gonna be way up here in the search engine especially when I typed him by name these are all his video there's um there you get a little something different because you see look he puts the name in the title so the search engine can register this as a valid video so <clears throat> audiences can find it that's the purpose of all this um another YouTube account you see look there's one of mine right there there's one of my videos on the on the list but see how far I have to go down to find another one see this guy hadn't been here a hot minute and, and the search engine is already recommending his stuff. Interviews, presentations. Okay. I think we need to hit something else because it, it stopped it right here. Let's see the filter. No, that's wrong. Okay, it didn't... It didn't show everything. I'm going to have to do it again. Hold on a minute, everybody. I'm going to do it again. All right. This may not come through. Okay, we're back at this page again. I wonder why it only let me go down so far. I'm gonna... That's not it. There's another one. See, it, it changed it. There it is. People also watched. It'll show it on my cell phone, but it's not gonna show it. Okay, now we're getting some more of it. Let's check this out, everybody. Okay, now we're still on track now. That was just a small little... Okay, look at all this stuff. Like I said, the man has over 8,000 subscribers. Like, like we all know, he's bought most of them. And so the search engine is going to favor him when someone, you know, types in his name and does a search. There's something somebody else put to expose his older video when he was selling for $750. There's a bunch more here. You see some of Scam Exposer's videos in here because I'll show you. He uses the Baccarat title and and this in this in the name for the search that's why which I didn't know that before this year started I had no clue about any of this stuff I'm I'm really new to this racket and this little circle but I've learned a lot in this year I I don't mind telling you I've learned a lot about the industry the gambling industry, I've learned about scams, I've learned about what things mean, I mean why you shouldn't sell a system, a straight up system, you know. I've learned a lot this year. And you see, um, you go through all this stuff and you don't see too, there's one of my videos, there's another one I made right there not too long ago but 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 you're not going to find many of them and um shit this video's already I've already been recording for 15 minutes but I'm going to get to the point and wrap this up cuz I only have so much memory on this phone to record but uh 
There's the first video I ever made talking about him where I shouted my lungs out and cussed up a storm and just talked a whole bunch of trash because I hit that point. Like, read this title. I'm fed up with him. You see? So I had to... You see, this was almost an hour-long video. Because I just, I believe it or not, even though I was screaming, I was angry, I still had no, I had a piece of paper up, and I wrote down what I wanted to discuss in that video. So almost 90% of the points I wanted to make, I got out into the open. So, I mean, the purpose of the video, in my mind, was served. Okay, I'm going to put this on something else. I'm sure y'all tired of looking at his face. All right. Here, there's um, there's good old, good old Sugar House, where I like to play. But okay, um, Steve, I'm, I'm going to answer your question. With these searches I just did, first off, Christopher Mitchell followers... The, the true, hardcore, dedicated followers are, are his subscribers, which I know he don't have 8,000 of them, but he has a lot. And um, the subscribers don't have to put his name into the search because they're subscribed to his channel and they can see a video of him anytime they want to. They can see material by him. They don't need to search for other stuff. They're not interested in searching for other stuff. They, they love and adore him, and they only want to watch him. Now, the followers that have watched a bunch of his videos like I have will see the inconsistencies in a lot of things he said, and they will you know, maybe type the name in and see what else is out there. And then they see other titles like I was showing you, other videos of people that typed his name in. And that's how they'll stumble over some of this. It is a sad case, though. I mean, what I was saying is they will stumble over some Scam Exposers videos. They'll get some Cheetos Baccarat videos with him in it. And they might find one or two that I've made. Odds are they won't. I've only talked to about maybe three of his followers have even come to my channel. The first one to do it was Red Pill when I made that angry, rageful speech. And, um, and Red Pill was kind of picking at me a little bit. You know, called me a funny name, which I thought it was hilarious. I actually liked it. He called me Coach After Midnight, you know, making fun of me, which he made fun of the other, you know, the other haters, so to speak. But I actually laughed at it. And then, you know, he kind of lightly hassled me a little bit through, you know, a couple of weeks. And then when I made the Aftermath video, you know, I think he understood my emotions, my feelings, my point of view a little bit and then you know I stopped hearing from him but I kept it respectful I kept it cordial I mean red pill only bothered me for a couple of videos and then it was over but I mean at least you know I didn't make an enemy out of him I didn't get into a disrespectful shouting match of cussing and disrespecting them or blocking them. I, I didn't see the point in doing any of that. But another subscriber of his made a comment on a video, and I responded back to that comment and asked him a couple of questions. Haven't heard from him ever since, so, you know, whatever. But the truth is, a lot of his followers are not even going to find this video. They're not even going to, you know, they're not even, they're probably not even going to find my channel or Scam Exposer's channel or Cheeto's channel or Jeff Dime. They're, they're not going to find them because, you know, they're, 
they're not interested. They're subscribers. They, they want to watch him. They believe in him. Some know about it already. Some of them have turned and made a choice to go another direction, but, but most of them are not. A lot of them are, in a sense, they're blind sheep. They just, they don't know. They, um, and some of them are new. They haven't watched his older material. The man has, Christopher Mitchell has 200 and something videos. You would have to have a vacation of like three straight weeks to do absolutely nothing. If you even wanted to catch up on all this stuff, if you could even remember all of his material. I've been watching him since late February, maybe mid-March. And I haven't seen nowhere near all his stuff, but I've seen more than enough to know that he contradicts himself, he says things differently as time goes on, he does so many repeat videos of the same subject matter, the same concept, and he gives different feelings or opinions about it. And you know, that's just, that, that's very difficult. And even before I had a fallout with him, it was very difficult to, to, to manage something like that. There were many times I just wanted to ask him, you know, what do you mean? You said this here and now you're saying that. But, you know, I never did it. I just, I didn't want to start any shit. I didn't want to stir shit up. I didn't want to cause any problems. Which inevitably it didn't matter. I got excommunicated from his channel anyway. Which, you know, I'm, I'm learning to be okay with that now. You know, life moves on. But a lot of these, um, I hope I explained this the best I can to you. The way the YouTube search engine works, they're not searching his name. They're not finding other people that are making videos about him. They're not finding it. I mean, they don't know. A lot of them don't even know that they need to search for it. And it, honestly, it's sad enough really to cry about. It is sad enough to just break down and just feel sorry for all these these folks that just, they don't realize that they have a choice. That they don't even know what the choices are. And I was once like them. I was, you know, I was a follower. I mean, I wasn't, I'm going to say, a diehard fan. But, you know... I tried to be nice to him. I encouraged him. I sent him messages of appreciation, congratulations. I tried to be nice to Christopher Mitchell. I, I really did. And it, it ultimately got me nowhere. Which, you know, that's in the past and we're moving forward. But I can't help but, you know, recollect on some of the you know, some of the psychological damage it causes. I just, I can't help it sometimes. I mean, I'm not trying to give him, you know, how do I say, I'm not trying to humor him or give him any direct credit for this, but I mean, he has really devastated me in a lot of ways. And I'm just one day at a time, I'm learning how to deal with it. I'm learning how to express it. I'm learning how to get it off my chest. I'm learning how to put it out there, you know, the effect that this has on me. And I've opened up a vessel in my channel for others that feel similar to me that we can talk about it. But... I'm trying to think of anything else I can say about this before I end it off here. I was supposed to do a different video this week, but 
you know, this other video is going to be harder to do. I need to review my notes again. I may need to make more notes, reorganize them. I, I told another gentleman that I was going to do a video about something else he does that's really despicable, but I need to get my material together. I need to get myself together before I make a video of of this stature and this level of difficulty. So, I mean, I was happy to make this tonight. I was happy to try to answer your question. I hope this made a difference. I mean, YouTube has search engines and it goes by the names that you type in. And all of these, when you type something on the search engine, it's probably going to go by subscribers. It's going to go by the most views. It's going to go by the larger channels. I mean, I'm a newborn at this, at making content, at producing videos, at building my channel. I'm new at this. So it's not going to, you know, put me at the top of a food chain and I don't expect it to. So, you know, when someone types this in, they're not going to get this material of mine to begin with. That They're just not. And others are, like I said, his followers don't know that they need to look for this stuff. Some of them do. Some, some of the older followers, they know about the people who are against him. Some of them know. And either they you know, grew wiser and and started talking to the the criticizers. I'm not going to call them haters. The criticizers of him. And they started conversating with either Cheetos' Baccarat's channel or the Scam Exposers channel. They started voicing opinions or feelings on one of those. Maybe, you know, Jeff Dimes channel as well. They might have put some con you know, some some comments on those that used to believe in him. But, you know, a lot of the new ones that just found him, you know, they have no clue about any of this. They don't know. And in a way, you can't help but feel sorry for them. But on the other hand, you know, you, you just scratch in your head like, you know, I mean, all of us are just like, use a few of your brain cells, you know, click some stuff, put two and two together here, for God's sake. You know, put something together. You know, look at, look at this. I mean, I'll... I, I want to ask y'all another question real quick. How many of y'all just, even if you did not know, and I was this way, I'm be honest with you, I was this way, before I understood and clicked what was wrong with Christopher Mitchell, I could watch his videos, I could look at his face, I could look at his mannerisms, his body language, and I knew something was wrong. I didn't know what, I couldn't put my finger on it, I didn't understand it fully, but I knew something was wrong, something was off, but I still tried to be nice, I still tried to support, be supportive, but I knew something was wrong. I just didn't want, I just didn't want the reality to slap me in the face that that he was just, you know, he was just such, you know, low-life scumbag. I did not want that to be the reality, but, you know, we all know it is. I wanted more than anything for him to rise above, meet the challenges, and be a successful Baccarat player, provide for his family, and have a beautiful life. I mean, I, I wanted that for him more than anything and and I just I mean I don't, I don't know exactly how to elaborate on that I mean I wanted him to be successful because of the amazing story it could have been of someone to defy all odds 
Like I said in a video months ago, I could be 70 years old in a rocking chair telling everybody amazing stories about what Christopher Mitchell did, about how he made history. But, you know, it's all make-believe, it's all fairy tale land. It, it just, it, it didn't happen. So, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end this video off here. We've already been half an hour. Hope there's enough memory on here for me to finish the month out with my, you know. So far, this has been a good month. I've had a goal of two videos a week, one for my program and one for the Correcting Christopher series. So, I mean, this, is, this has been a, a, a positive month for me so far, making content. So anyway, um... All right, thanks a lot, everybody, audience, team, for watching, visitors, welcome, and thank you for watching. Hope I answered all your questions, Steve. I hope I made things a little bit more clear for what you asked me. So this is Coach 1AM staying up late to give you the score.